Yeah. I dated a millionaire once. I just walked in with my I made it clothes. You did I mean. But I had to let her go. Got sick of her nonsense. What the heck are you talking about? Listen, cheeks. I'm gonna be a powerful mogul one day. I already got a ton of projects in the works. Is one of them dressing yourself? You look like a model from Baby Gap. Check it. Tray it. Don't spray it. That's a cologne I'm making. Eat. Tray. Love. That's a book I'm writing. Needle in a tray stack. I don't know what that is yet, but... I'm trademarking it. Trademarking it? No one use that. You're late. I got lots of portray toe chips that need bagging, and you missed the meeting about your bonus work. Bonus work. Sorry, I was mid swallow. Fine, huh? Well, I guess. I'll have to do what any mature boss would do when his employee disobeys him. Mom! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Everyone thinks I'm cool. Confident, so no one knows you're scared of the little boy. You're the only one that really gets me to sneak through. Also, I try not to pages push pills. And the thing is, all right, I've seen enough. I'd hate for that footage to make its way online and you ruin your mogul image. What do you want? A piece of toast. That's it? Well, no. That's one thing. There are more things. You're working for me now. Miller? You betrayed me! Betray? Yeah, that's nothing. I got a lot of chores for you to run, listen, little man. Get ready. I'm gonna be all 500 of the Forbes. 500. I'm gonna take over the world. I'm gonna be sitting on top of the Empire State Building saying, Bro, it ain't enough! I work for no one! Do you still need me to drive you to Todd's house tonight for your play date? Yes, please. <laughs>